Hey family, how's it going? I am hoping you're able to see this video and um, see what I'm doing. Now this um, uh, food demonstration I'm going to show you is not a cooking video, but it's a um, preparing video. And um, it was something called overnight oats that I found out about I think sometime last year on Instagram. It's also been on Pinterest. It's also been on YouTube and other social uh, places. And pretty much what it is, it's a cold version of eating oatmeal. And you could put, you know, your own fruits and your own toppings you want on it. Now the first thing you need to use is old fashioned oats. Now you can use the um, instant oats but know that it is it will um, make the everything else mushy and this is an overnight product so you're going to be putting it in your um, your fridge for overnight some people put it maybe for an hour and then eat it but I'm going to put mine overnight and follow the rules to um, get the best results okay so the first thing I'm going to show you I'm going to demonstrate one of um, the uh, bowls I'm doing and you do have to use mason jars they also said if you don't have a mason jar you can also use um, any container with a top on it um, and I got four mason jars from Target you can also get them from I think Walmart I just couldn't find them and you can also I believe get them online so the first thing I'm going to use is my Greek yogurt and they told me to use one-third of it so I'm going to and yes this is washed because I know some of them, <laughs> some people out here are really into hygiene and they'll like to ask you questions like that. So I'm using, putting one third into the mason's jar. And this can get a little uh, messy so you want to make sure that you have a spoon, a fork, a knife or whatever to kind of help you. Okay, have that part. The next thing I am going to use is I'm going to use half a cup of oats. And I already measured it here in my um in my uh cup, my measuring cup, and I'll put half a cup in. Okay. The next thing I am going to use is one third milk. So I'm going to use my measuring cup and I'm going to measure one third and I am using Almond Breeze, um, the original one and, and simply because this is my uh, favorite one to use but you can also use soy milk as well as you can use uh, regular milk. Okay and that's about one third and so I'll pour that in. If you go over a little bit, don't even worry about it. I'm so sorry, you guys. I just have to... Take this off the... <laughs> the cord. Okay. I'm I'm so so sorry you all. Okay, so the next thing I am going to do is add my fruits. Now the fruits, your fruits could vary. You could have mango, kiwi. I'm so sorry. Okay. So the next thing you could have is you could have mango, kiwi, you can have apples, you can have any fruits. I chose to have I chose to have strawberries and um oh, what are these? Blueberries. Yeah. And so I'm going to put a little bit of that in here in my jar. In here I'm not sure if you guys are seeing that so let me raise it up a little bit and I'll put a little bit more strawberries okay 
and you could put as much fruit as you want or you would like or really that can fit in there okay I think that's enough because I have my other jars now the next thing they said because the Greek yogurt is not really sweet um, go ahead and put a little bit of honey you can use sugar uh, you can use agave any little sweetener and they said just put a little bit of it in there I think that's enough and then I'm going to get the top. Wait, let me. Okay. And then they said to take it and I'm gonna make sure the top is really all tight and to take it and just to ooh, what's that okay and to take it and to shake it and make sure the ingredients is well sh shaken in the jar so that everything can go around and is touching each other and you just shake it for a little bit to you you feel like you got that consistency where everything is you know gelling into the other thing and this is how it looks you guys I will wake up tomorrow morning and let you guys know before I go to work um, how it came out and how it tastes I'm really really happy I finally got to do this and um, you know, like I said, it's different variations. You can look on YouTube, Pinterest, Instagram, and check out um, other people's different videos. You can use peanut butter. I've seen people use chocolate and just do it like a straight-up dessert. Um, it's really good because it's low fat. The oatmeal is low fat. Then you're using, if you're using something like uh, soy milk or almond milk, you know that's um, good nutrition, low fat. The Greek yogurt is low fat. Um, and especially this um, Oikos, um, this is the one I saw most people using. And for um, one cup, it's 120 calories. And I didn't even use um, one cup of this. I used a half of cup of that. So that's what, about 60? Yeah. And then fruits, of course, are good for you. And this is a really good breakfast to take on the go. And you don't have to worry about preparing it. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I love you. So family, here we have it. Here's my overnight oats. Uh, four of them looking like baby food. Uh, one thing I found out about them is that you really do have to shake and shake and shake to get um, to stir it about to get that effect of it looking like porridge. And then you could see the fruits and stuff. I just can't wait. I wish it was like, you know, you could wait an hour or two and then eat it. But no, I want to follow the guidelines and wait. Um till tomorrow morning um, overnight and then have it and let you guys know how it tastes so I'll let you know if it's worth doing I mean and you know it may not be for me but maybe it is for you but I'm sure I'm going to love it because this is type of things that are right up my alley so I hope you enjoy again smooches hello love my love so I am back to uh, taste on camera my oatmeal that I made the overnight oats Mm hmm it does taste good but I think it needs to um, a little bit more honey in it but it's nice it's not um, smushy it tastes just like how you would cook oatmeal it's just cold but I like the fact that I can still see my fruits and I like the fact that it's a really a nice size so just letting you guys know that it does taste good it just needed a little bit more uh, sweetener so I think what I'll do next time is I'll kind of layer it, put the oatmeal, then probably put some oatmeal, um, put some honey, then the milk, and uh, put fruits, and then put some more honey on there like that. But it tastes really, 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 really good, you guys. So thank you guys for watching. Until next time, overnight oats, y'all. <laughs>